try it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ooh. Oh, Snake and Game & Watch. Okay, so Vader's to the right. Okay, I know, I know it's face. So we got Vader, Order 66. Yeah. Oh, Vader's, he plays um, Game & Watch. Game & Watch, yeah. Order 66 at the tag, though. Man, I heard that order wasn't so nice. Uh, no, not, not for the Jedis. <laughs> All right, and of course we got Mello on the snake. Now a lot of uh, a lot of people think that this matchup is in Game Watch's favor. Um, I know there are, yeah. So now he can absorb with the bucket, and the bucket also reflects like physical projectiles as well. So the grenade, the Nikita, will all be reflected, and everything else he can bucket. Okay, yeah, I was seeing. Uh, it looked like a strange interaction to me. So if he throws, he chucks a grenade, it gets bounced back. Does he get a charge in the bucket? It, it doesn't look if it like blows it, but up, sometimes... If it blows up near Oh, enough. if it blows up. Okay, I see. Yeah, so, I mean, that's whole Snake's whole shtick, right? He, he runs around, he chucks grenades. Sometimes he, they blow up on him, but it doesn't matter because he's a big boy. Yeah, Melo just has to play this a lot more different than he usually does. He right. can't be too heavy on grenades. He can't really rely on the grenade can't be too well. He's got to bait out the bucket. He's got to right. use some of uh, Snake's more normal moves, which... He's, uh, his normal moves are phenomenal, so they uh, are. Snake can still do things. Um, his tilts are very, very great. His uh, dash attack is amazing. Well, we saw something that Snake has in this matchup for sure, which is up tilt. I mean, it's a great move for killing off the top. And uh, Game & Watch is, what, the third or second most light character in the game? I so. think Pichu and Squirtle might be lighter. Okay, sure. Okay, so, yeah. I know Pichu for sure is lighter. I don't know if Squirtle is lighter. Uh, but yeah, he's, Jigglypuff he's is the same, is either right below or above uh, Game & Watch, I know. Okay, oh, there's oh, the Nikita, Nikita. Wow. man. Mello's doing a really good job considering how much people think this matchup is uh, not so great for Snake. Because a lot of people would commonly say, like, okay, you know, there's Game & Watch, there's Lucas and Ness who are going to, like, absorb the grenades and push the grenades. Just characters that have really strong tools against the grenades, but... Like I said before, Snake has very, very strong normals, and we see Mello abusing that right now. And even putting uh, Vader in situations where he's kind of like baiting out that bucket, the counterplay is really, really strong. Right. Right. We're, seeing, we're still seeing grenades uh, from Mello, but he's just more, a lot more cautious with how he's using them. Ooh, so, so much damage. damage. Dude, oh my goodness. An up tilt. Another hit and an up tilt is going to be it. Oh man. Yeah, I was definitely pushing for that up tilt. Oh, but there's a down tilt. Okay, okay. Down tilt. Uh, maybe coming out faster than the, the up tilt. I know that move has a lot of lag, so it's definitely risky of Mello to go for it. But it paid off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Such a great job. And now Melo is sitting at, I, I believe he still has the bucket online. So if he gets a grab, it might true combo into the bucket. But I don't know if he wants to use it for this stock or next stock. And that's another thing. Once Game Watch has the bucket filled up, he can't use it to reflect. So then um, oh, Snake yeah. can go right back to his strategy unless you burn the bucket. Uh, that's kind of interesting uh, as to whether you want the bucket or you don't want the bucket. I would rather have the bucket just because it's so strong. but. You know, to be able to reflect and gain energy from everything. Oh, this is going to be it. The up tilt will seal the deal there. True combo, by the way. Yes. 160%. At 160 is when it starts? Yeah, as long as you do the throw. Your throw can't bring them up to 160. You have to put yeah. them down if they're 160 plus, and then it goes true combos right into the up tilt. Okay, so it's true at 160 on all characters? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was uh, weight dependent, but I guess not. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know it's for up tilt. There's a bunch of charts for like forward tilts and stuff like that. Not throwing a forward tilt, blah blah. blah. I know that um, is different, but up tilt all characters 160. I could be wrong though, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. We're seeing a switch. A switch to Pac-Man. Wow. Yeah, and I mean, I I honestly can't tell you that I've heard much people talk about this matchup particularly. Um, I know the Game & Watch one. There's just going to be a lot of things flying around on the screen right now, and I am all for it. I love watching Pac-Man. I used to, I, I tried to main pack in uh, Smash 4 <laughs> just because I loved all those Sinji videos and all the sick Pac combos. All, all the cool you can Twitter do. combos. Yeah, I mean, they changed uh, how the, his Hydra and oh, no! oh, no. Oh, he's making a bad.
back. All right, oh, good. Man. That's not a good way to go. Yeah. Um, they changed how his hydrant works, and so, so setups are not quite the same anymore. Um, I feel like they gave him a lot more offensive capabilities. They though. did. Um, it's weird. I learned that I liked that he was bad in, in the other game because I don't want to play him anymore in this one. I actually think he's in high, high tier character. You do? Yes. Okay. Like, he's Explain. really good. Well, I mean, every, like, Senji and T are getting, like, really good results. Like, top eight, Senji okay. has gotten, like, top eight or ninth at a lot of tournaments. Um, this character is a lot more, like, overall well-rounded. Before, his defensive capabilities in Smash 4 were a lot better, but in this game, he has more offense as well. Like, the Nair out of shield is really big. The fair is a very, very good aggression. They took away some of his good stuff, too, though. The I think the, the trampoline out of shield was such a good option. Um, Being able to, like, put away your food again. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And in, in Smash 4, if you Z-drop your fruit, it would never have the property of the fruit. In this game, you can Z-drop a bell, and it still gets stunned. Yeah, okay. That's a humongous I didn't know that, actually. It's a huge That's amazing. Bug. Yes, yeah. it's a very amazing. For ledge trapping, like, you still have a really, really good recovery. But, yes, they, they did nerf the trampoline. You can hit it now. Yeah. Ooh, and there's no tech there. And it looks like for Vader, it's not really working out to switch to, to the Pac-Man, man. Pac-Man, yeah. man. Pac the Pac-Man. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Do you know the Pac-Man, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, the okay, we got All one. Right. We got one. Let's get it. Hydrant's still taking forever to kill people in this game. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can shield the water now, too. That's a big deal. In Smash 4, oh, yeah. the water would push you even if you were shielded. Oh, big oh, damage. Oh, the Galaga combos. Yep. 42%. Oh, classic. Oh, wow. He, he read he read which direction, but he went for the... Uh, nice recovery from Vader there. Uh, so, yeah. Interestingly, uh, the, the water affects your fruit at a much faster speed. So if you throw anything at the, the hydrant, it will just get rocketed in the opposite direction. Uh, okay. As opposed to in 4 when it was a bit slower and you could sort of have these setups uh, and throw your fruit at odd angles. See, so you re picked his melon back up and you just charged it to a Galaga. That's such a big deal. Yeah, that is, that is so good, man. Is it time for the pack to come back up? Oh, I mean, there it is. is. The Dude, down throw is. into the up tilt there. Dude, pack is a character that requires lots of work. You are correct. If you don't have the time to play Pac-Man, there's